My name's Martin William Askew and my character name is Uncle Jimmy. I never thought I was going to be acting in this film, to be honest with you. But I, I took that on board because of the casting process. With Jimmy, we was having a few hurdles, so I read with Jimmy and uh, I didn't get any favours, by the way, actually. I, I went through a whole intensive rigmarole of getting the role. Let me down, Jimmy. Uncle Jimmy is a very hollow, shallow, um, quite layered psychopath. He's someone who on, on the outside is uh, exuberant and a little bit colourful, larger than life, but internally he sort of avoid uh, emotionally he's not like a human being as such. And answer your fucking phone when I call ya! I mean, it's been four and a half years since I've been writing the script with Andrew when we hooked up together. Because obviously it's based upon truth, but fictionalised, you know. I wasn't egotistical to say, oh, let me do my life story. I, I just wanted to do something different and something creative. And he said, well, why don't we sort of hone in on your experience? We couldn't tell the whole truth, we didn't have the budget and obviously it wouldn't have been as interesting as Dave's truth. So it's not Martin, it's, it's Dave and Dave is a fictional character. But the emotional journey is true. I went on one of that, that emotional journey from coming away from a very dark life and going into a very sort of good life as uh, embracing Islam. I mean, the, 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 the art department, honestly, they've just, they've really done an amazing job. I had to step back a little bit from a professional perspective, because once I got the role of Jimmy, because I was so extensively, heavily involved in the script process, I was only going to come in on certain days, because I had to find this guy, this character, and, uh, you know, I couldn't concentrate on script stuff then. So all the other aspects, I've given pointers to, or I've had a phone call here and there and that, most of the stuff is... Alex and, and, and Sophia and, he, and all the others, it's really, really amazing what they've achieved. You ain't smoking the next shit again, are you? No, Jim, no way. No better than that, do not. The fact that I'm a practicing Muslim, it has been really difficult for me to jump back into this guy's life and this psychopath I'm trying to play. Because some of the things go against the grain, you know? of my faith but I thought it's a lesser evil you know I felt this was very important that here was a guy who was quite dysfunctional quite violent because of his environment and because of the culture he was born into who changes for the betterment of his life and his society I felt I've got to take part in this as well because the overall message is a story arc of someone ain't a Muslim who's quite nasty he becomes a Muslim and becomes quite good Stay. Stay as long as you want.